Sorry, Sweeney. I, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, my God. You terrified me. I, I, I thought you were at work, really. I, I, I'm working the evening shift. I, I just have to stop by for a minute. What are you doing with that thing, anyway? I was just trying on some Halloween costumes. That's all. Well, could you get rid of it or something? I just, it's giving me the creeps. I'm so sorry. Really, I, I know how rough this has all been for you. But the police are on the case. I'm here. This stalker's not going to bother you anymore, okay? Now... I've been looking for a way to cheer you up, okay? The hospital is... Well, they're having a costume... A charity costume party at Club 101, and I... Grandmother offered us some tickets. I accepted. I thought you'd enjoy it. That's really sweet of you. If you don't want to go, I understand. No, 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 no. I, I think it's a terrific idea. I'm not going to let the stalker think that he can scare me into staying home behind locked doors. I'm going to go out, and I'm going to live my life the way that I want to. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me. Not. I'm late. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Courtney, slow down. It's all right. You don't have to do everything at once. I, you know, I, I can work late if you need me. No? Fine, I'll tell you. Courtney. Did that stalker come after you again? I, I filed a police report, so I'm, I'm sure it'll be over with her. Well, what happened? Because something obviously happened. You're shaken up. Last night just scared me. How? Oh. You know, I'd, I'd rather not get into it. No offense. Oh, all right, I'm taken. Oh, honey. Bobby, I'm so sorry. It's all right. Listen, at least we'll catch this guy and everything will get back to normal. I hope so. All right. It's just so hard to deal with something that's so unexpected. Courtney, you are young. You'd only known A.J. a very short time before you married him. Uh, Bobby, I know where this is going. You were one of the people that told me A.J. was bad news, but you're wrong. He's been incredibly caring, and he loves me. And I love him. And I'm glad. I really am. I guess I just need to tell him that I kissed... that I kissed someone else. No, no. Never relieve your own conscience at the expense of someone you love. Unless you're planning on leaving AJ for the other man. No, no, no. I would never leave AJ. You know, I don't, I don't know why I kissed this other person. Well, I think the question is, would you do it again? No, definitely and not. You don't even need to tell me. You know, just be honest with yourself. How much do you care for this other man? A lot, but just as a friend. Well, then make that clear and tell him that kiss will never be repeated. Okay. And then keep your distance. If you find yourself thinking about him or making excuses to see him or trying to run into him, then I think you need to ask yourself some very serious questions. It won't happen. Okay, I am committed to AJ. But thank you for your advice. I'm going to get back to work. Sorry to bother you. Compliments of your boyfriend. 